Hello, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. Today we're going to be talking to you about Christmas. What it means and uh, basically what we're after is uh, we're in search for the historical Jesus Christ. Now, most historians and scholars agree that there was a real Jesus Christ. Uh, that's all changed in the last few years. Uh, that's because before there were a lot of doubt over the last thousands of years of whether he really existed or not. However, there were codexes that were found, uh, books basically that have been found uh, since then. And we're going to go into that and now the majority of all scholars and historians agree that there really was a Jesus Christ. A typical Jew in Jesus' time only had one name. Uh, they were supplemented by the Father's name like Jesus, son of Joseph, or referred to a place of where they birth or where they came from, like Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, however, in Mark 6.3, uh, rather than being called the son of Joseph, Jesus referred to as the son of Mary and brother of James and Hoses and Judas and Simon, indicating that there were brothers. It's also said that he had a sister named Rachel, I believe, and possibly a couple others, even a Mary. The name Yeshua uh, appears to have been used in Judea at the time of the birth of Jesus. The first century works of the historian Flavius Josephs who wrote in uh, Greek, by the way, which was the same language that the New Testament was written in, uh, refers to at least 20 different people of that time with the name Jesus. Since early Christianity, Christians have uh, commonly referred to uh, Jesus as Jesus Christ. Um, the word Christ is from Greek, which means uh, is a translation of uh, the Hebrew uh, Messiah, uh, meaning the anointed, and uh, is usually in, uh, transliterated into English as Messiah, so it would be Jesus the Messiah. Now, as I said before, scholars and historians now almost uh, all agree that there was a real Jesus Christ. Uh, and they, they all say that uh, Jesus was a Galilean Jew. Uh, he was around the beginning of the first century who died between 30 and 36 AD in Judea. Now, as to his birth, uh, Matthew 2, 1 is associates the birth of Jesus with the reign of Herod the Great. Who died around 4 BC. So that puts it before 1 or 0 uh, AD. Uh, basically four years older than what, uh, or earlier than what is usually, uh, you know, taken for uh, granted as being his birth. Uh, Luke 1 and 5 mentions that Herod was on the throne shortly before the birth of Jesus, although the gospel also associates the birth with uh, the census of Quirinius, 
which took place ten years later though. Uh, but most likely most of the historians and scholars agree that it was a time of Herod. Luke 3.23 states that Jesus was about 30 years old at the start of his ministry. Uh, and then according to Acts 10.37-38, it was preceded by John's ministry, which uh, itself recorded in Luke 3.1 and 2, was to have begun in the 15th year of Tiberius' reign, which was 28 or 29 A.D. Uh, by, uh, Collating uh, or by, uh, by by piecing together all the historical data and using various other methods, uh, most scholars are, arrive at the date of birth between 6 and 4 BC for Jesus.